Imagine waking up one day to find that your bank account has been emptied. Millions of dollars stolen overnight by a faceless enemy operating thousands of miles away. This nightmare became a reality for hundreds of thousands of people and businesses worldwide thanks to one of the most powerful and dangerous pieces of malware ever created, Game Over Zeus. Born in the shadowy corners of the internet around 2011, Game Over Zeus was not just another virus. It was a highly sophisticated banking trojan designed to infiltrate computers, steal banking credentials, and drain accounts with surgical precision. Created by the elusive Russian hacker Evgeny Bogachev, Game Over Zeus quickly grew into a sprawling, global cybercrime empire, controlling up to a million infected computers at its peak and stealing over a hundred million dollars from victims, primarily in the United States, but also across Europe and Asia. What made Game Over Zeus so terrifying was not only its ability to steal money, but its resilience. It operated through a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer botnet, making it nearly impossible to shut down. This is the story of how law enforcement agencies, cybersecurity experts, and international partners came together in a high-stakes hunt to dismantle one of the most powerful cybercriminal networks in history. Game Over Zeus was a masterclass in cybercrime engineering. Unlike traditional malware that relies on a central command server, Game Over Zeus used a peer-to-peer -peer network architecture. This meant that infected computers communicated directly with each other, sharing commands and updates without a single point of failure. This decentralized design made the botnet incredibly resilient to takedown attempts, because even if some infected machines were cleaned or servers seized, the network could heal itself and continue operating. The infection usually began with a simple phishing email, an innocent-looking message disguised as a bank notification, invoice, or shipment alert. When victims clicked on a malicious link or opened an infected attachment, their computers were silently compromised. Once inside, Game Over Zeus would lie dormant, waiting for the victim to log into their online banking account. At that moment, the malware sprang into action, injecting fake login pages and capturing every keystroke, including usernames, passwords, security questions, and even two-factor authentication codes. This real-time hijacking allowed cybercriminals to bypass security measures that many banks relied on, making the theft nearly undetectable. But the criminals didn't stop there. To cover their tracks and prevent victims from reacting quickly, Game Over Zeus operators launched massive distributed denial-of-service DDoS attacks against targeted banks during the thefts. Overwhelmed the bank's websites with traffic, causing outages and preventing customers from logging in to notice suspicious activity. Meanwhile, the stolen funds were quickly moved through a complex web of money mules, unsuspecting individuals, recruited through fake job offers or romance scams, who transferred the money through shell companies and offshore accounts, effectively laundering the stolen cash. The mastermind behind this operation was Evgeny Bogachev, a Russian hacker based in the city of Krasnodar. Bogachev was not a lone wolf. He led a tight-knit business club of around 50 cyber criminals, mostly from Russia and Ukraine, who specialized in different aspects of the operation, from coding and maintaining the malware to recruiting money mules and laundering money. This syndicate was highly organized, operating like a criminal corporation with clear roles and responsibilities, and they continuously updated Game Over Zeus to evade detection and improve its capabilities. Adding to their arsenal, the group also distributed the infamous Crypto Locker ransomware through the botnet, extorting victims by encrypting their files and demanding hefty ransoms. This dual-threat model of stealing money directly and extorting victims made Game Over Zeus one of the most profitable and dangerous cybercrime operations of its time. The scale and sophistication of Game Over Zeus caught the attention of law enforcement agencies worldwide. In 2014, a landmark multinational effort known as Operation Tovar was launched, bringing together the FBI, Europol, the UK's national crime agency, and private cybersecurity firms like CrowdStrike and McAfee. This operation was one of the largest coordinated cybercrime takedowns in history. The challenge was enormous. Because Game Over Zeus used a peer-to-peer -peer botnet, simply seizing a few servers wouldn't be enough. The teams had to reverse engineer the malware's domain generation algorithms, the method by which infected computers found their command servers, and create sinkholes to redirect infected machines to servers controlled by law enforcement. 
This effectively cut off the criminals' control over the botnet. Simultaneously, authorities tracked the money laundering networks, arresting dozens of money mules and seizing millions in stolen funds. The operation also targeted the distribution infrastructure of crypto locker ransomware, crippling another revenue stream for the criminals. Evgeny Bogachev was indicted by the FBI on multiple charges, including wire fraud, bank fraud, and computer intrusion. The U.S. government offered a $3 million reward for information leading to his capture, the highest bounty ever placed on a cybercriminal at that time. Despite the takedown, Bogachev remained at large, reportedly still in Russia, protected by the country's reluctance to extradite cybercriminals. The takedown of Game Over Zeus was a monumental victory for law enforcement and cybersecurity, but it was far from the end of the story. New variants and copycat malware soon emerged, using many of the same techniques pioneered by Gozi. The cybercriminal ecosystem had learned valuable lessons from the operation, becoming more sophisticated and elusive. Game Over Zeus left a lasting legacy in the world of cybercrime. It demonstrated how organized, well-funded criminal groups could exploit technology to steal massive amounts of money with impunity. It also highlighted the importance of global cooperation in fighting cybercrime, as no single agency or country could tackle such threats alone. For individuals and businesses, the story of Game Over Zeus serves as a stark warning. Cybercriminals are constantly evolving, and everyone must stay vigilant. Regular software updates, cautious email habits, strong authentication methods, and awareness of phishing tactics are essential defenses in this ongoing digital war.